Welcome to Ms. Accounting Tutors Presentations. My name is Mary J. Collins and I'll be your host. Today we're covering cash flow statements direct method. Let's start with the three line header from the statement. Name of the company, title of the statement, and period for which the statement covers. The name of the company is Love Thy Pet Inc. Title of the statement is cash flow statement, and the period for which it covers is for the year ending December 31st, 2014. The operating section is the first section of the cash flow statement. We have cash flows from operating activities. We'll have cash receipts from operating activities, and cash payments will be subtracted. From operating activities. So you will get net cash provided by operating activities and that will go in the right hand column. Any subtotals of course go one column over. Alright let's start with our example for the operating section. We will start with the cash flow from operating activities header and then we will add cash receipts from operating activities. To arrive at this amount we will Start with revenues from either sales or service and add decreases in accounts receivable or subtract increases in accounts receivable, which in this case will give us $50,000, which is in the left hand column because we're subtotaling. Next, we will do cash payments from operating activities. To arrive at this total, we will do a number of items. We will start with cost of goods sold. Add increases in inventory and decreases in accounts payable. We would subtract decreases in inventory and or increases in accounts payable. We will also look at interest expense. We will add decreases in interest payable or subtract increases in interest payable. Next, we would start with income tax expense, adding decreases in income tax payable and subtracting increases in income tax payable. We would add all three of these together to get the amount we subtract, which in this case was $20,000. Now we will take the $50,000 minus the $20,000 and this will give us net cash provided by operating activities. And we will put that in the far right hand column. Now we have the first two sections the header section and the operating section of the cash flow statement. Now we'll start with the investing section of the cash flow statement. We'll start with the header cash flows from the investing activities. We would subtract purchase of equipment because we're paying money. We would add sales of equipment because that would bring money into the company. We would subtract purchase of investments and we would add back sales of investments. We would then total these, subtracting the negatives, adding the positives to get net cash used by investing activities, which would be a negative amount. If it was a positive amount, we would say net cash provided by investing activities. Next section we have is the investing section of the cash flow statement. We'll start with the Heather cash flows from investing activities. We will add sales of Intel stock and sales of equipment. These two will have brought money into the company. And then we will have purchase of the building, which is a negative amount since we're paying for the building. And then we will take the positives minus the negatives to get net cash used by investing activities. That is the 10200 plus the 100000 minus the 1000 113,000 is a negative 2,800. We'll put that on the right hand column. Now, this is the first three sections. We have 
the header, of course. And then we have the operating section. And our third section would be the investing section of the cash flow statements. And that's what the three looks like. Finally is the financing section of the cash flow statement. We would have the header cash flows from financing activities. We would add sales of common stock because that brings money in. Sales of bonds payable which would bring money in. We would subtract redemption of bonds payable and we would subtract payment of cash dividends. On rare occasions we would also subtract the purchase of our common stock which we refer to as treasury stock. We would then add the positives, subtract the negatives to get net cash either provided or used by financing activities and we would put that amount in the right hand column. Of course we would move all the subtotaling over one column to the left. Let's look at an example. So we have cash flows from financing activities. We have issuance of common stock which is a positive amount since we're selling that. Negatives would be redemption of bonds, we're, pay, we're paying off bonds payable and payment of cash dividends to the investors. Those would be negative amounts for 30 and 25. And then net cash used by financing activities because that would end up being negative of 5,000. So that covers our final section. Now we have the Heather section. We have the operating section of the cash flow statement. We have the investing section of the cash flow statement. And we have the financing section of the cash flow statement. We will start with what we got from operating, which is a positive. Then we subtract the 2800 we used in investing and the 5000 we used in financing to give us. 22,200. Then we would add from the balance sheet the cash at the beginning of the period, that's the earlier day, and that will give us the cash at the end of the period, which would match the amount on your income, or well, your balance sheet, on the cash. So that is a way of doing a check figure for that amount and knowing that your cash flow statement matches your financial statements. That it brings us to the end of our presentation on cash flow statements. Here is the handout for the direct method. Here is also the handout for the indirect method of cash flows, which we will see in later chapters. And here is my website for CNM students. You will need your username and password to access this site. Thank you very much for your interest and I look forward to seeing you on other presentations.